The Biden administration could soon admit certain Palestinian refugees into the U.S., according to documents obtained by CBS News. Various agencies are looking into the possibility of resettling Palestinians fleeing Gaza that have immediate family who are American citizens or permanent residents. One proposal involves using the United States Refugee Admissions Program. It would welcome Palestinians who escaped Gaza and entered Egypt. Another option is working with Egypt to organize the departure of additional Palestinians from Gaza. Palestinians who pass eligibility, medical and security screenings, and prove they are fleeing persecution would qualify as refugees. If approved, it would grant them permanent residency, resettlement benefits, and a path to citizenship. The Israel-Hamas war has claimed more than 34,000 Palestinian lives, according to the Hamas-controlled Gaza Health Ministry. And the conflict has displaced hundreds of thousands in Gaza. The White House said the U.S. has helped more than 1,800 American citizens and their families in Gaza since the start of the war. However, they emphasize the U.S. rejects any actions leading to the forced relocation of Palestinians. The potential shift in policy marks a departure from long-standing U.S. refugee practices. The U.S. has resettled fewer than 600 Palestinians over the last decade. While many Democrats may support this move, Republicans previously expressed opposition to welcoming Palestinian refugees. For example, former presidential candidate Florida Governor Ron DeSantis expressed concerns about national security and claimed all Palestinians are anti-Semitic. While Republican frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, said he would suspend refugee resettlement and ban refugees from Gaza. The Biden administration has significantly increased refugee resettlement efforts compared to the previous administration, aiming to admit up to 125,000 refugees in the fiscal year 2024, a significant increase from the 60,000 refugees resettled in fiscal year 2023. To keep up to date with this story and more, download the Straight Arrow News app.